Hello everyone, my name is Emma Stenning, Executive Director of Soul Pepper Theatre Company. It is my pleasure to introduce Jani Lozon, the Director of Moon Lodge, which begins for us our Around the World in 80 Plays adventure here in Canada. Hello Jani. Hello Emma. Because Moon Lodge is the first uh, play up in our journey, um, it's already been edited and I've had the enormous pleasure of listening to it. And oh my goodness, what an extraordinary piece of work it is. So you must be thrilled. I am thrilled. It's a beautiful play and uh, mm -hmm. we had an incredible team. And that's, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you know, gather the right people and magic happens. So I know that this piece holds enormous amounts of meaning for you personally. And I wondered if you'd be happy just to talk to us a bit about the play and why it holds such a special place for you. I think um, Margot as a performer, both Margot as a performer and also the play itself was created and crafted at a time, a very special time where, um, you know, there just wasn't any access to Indigenous theatre, there was very little access to Indigenous performers uh, and, and their ability to work. And, you know, Margot's, uh, you know, brilliant piece gave us permission to to see ourselves in a new light. It's about 30 years old, I think, as a piece. And, and what, what's its impact been on, the, on, on Canadian theatre making, do you think? Because it was at the time one of the only, <laughs> and for so long remained one of the only, it has a, a longevity and a history and serves a great function. But again, I'd go back to craft and I'd go back to storytelling. This is a story that um, speaks to truth and does so in a very entertaining, um, but uh, and emotionally deep, uh, triple threat kind of way, you know, so it, it, it speaks to, um, even if you're, you know, studying performance, Margot is that kind of performer and that's what she brought to the role. And you can feel that in the writing. She incorporates, uh, <laughs> such incredible humor. Mm. And yet the next moment you are deep, deep, deep into profound and, and uh and bittersweet circumstance and it's just such an amazing journey to be able to um, take an audience through all of those the the width and breadth of all of that within the space of an hour you know i think that for me is one of the real joys of audio drama as well is that is that because the world is truly in your imagination that it's it's really limitless i think yeah, what, what do you hope audiences will take away from having engaged with this work and and having considered the place of Indigenous theatre within the Canadian canon? I hope that it inspires um, audiences to, um, non-Indigenous audi audiences to keep engaging with Indigenous work, be active, be active in in trying to engage and reach out and discover the work that's being created. and. For Indigenous audience, it's just another opportunity um, to not only remind ourselves that Margot is a leader in our community and uh, has been paving the way for so many to follow um, and to honour her for that and the work that she's done and continues to do. It's a lot of pride when you can connect with a story or feel yourself being mm -hmm. represented. So I'm excited mm -hmm. that that's, you know, just another aspect of it right yeah amazing well thank you so much jenny for joining me for this conversation about moon lodge thank you so much emma and for our viewers here to hear the production of moon lodge and i so highly recommend that you do it really is extraordinary um and indeed for more information about the rest of the around the world in 80 plays series go to salt pepper's website saltpepper.ca and be sure to tune in to ideas on cbc radio to hear a companion documentary that really delves into and explores the cultural and historical context of this play mm -hmm.